Hey guys, mm. today we will see one of the most important concept in Spring MVC that is at the rate model attribute annotation. So model attribute annotation is used in the method argument before the method declaration. So main objective of this annotation is what? It's something like binding my result to a model or a structure. Suppose I have some form field over here and I want to bind this form field data to a model. So what can I do from this is I can bind the data with the help of model attribute annotation. So we'll go into more depth and see how model attribute annotation works. So model attribute annotation refers to a property of that model in a Spring MVC M, V and C. So it's already I told you it's available for preparing the model data. So model att attribute can apply to both uh, to both method as well as in the method parameters. If it's applied in a method, then it's for sure that this method will be executed first before executing any request handler mapping. Okay. So now I will explain how Spring processes this annotation. So uh, before invoking any request handling or request handler, Spring invokes this mapping annotation. All the methods that have add the rate model attribute annotation, sorry, it's not mapping annotation, it's model attribute annotation. So all this methods that has model attribute annotation is executed first. And what Spring does, it adds those data returned by these methods to a primary or a temporary map object. And that, that this data from this map is available as a model in the handler method after the handler method gets executed. So after that, it prepares to invoke handler method. To invoke this method, it has to resolve the arguments. If the method is a parameter with at the red model attribute, then it would search in that temporary map object with the value model attribute. If it finds, then the value from that map is used for the handler method parameters. Okay. So we'll see before going into depth how this at the rate model attribute methods gets executed before request handling, request handler. So I have my request handler over here at the backslash with I'm just printing out re user request handler and I have a model attribute annotation based method over here anger at the red gmail.com so it looks pretty good let's run it so we can see over here yes inside of model and user request handler so this model is loaded first this model attribute is executed first and then the request handler is un executed okay suppose it doesn't find the value in the map then in that case it checks in the session attribute annotation applied on that controller So I will repeat what I said. Spring invokes only at the red model attribute annotation best methods. It's methods first, then the handler. And after executing, it, it adds those data to a temporary map object. And the data from this map would be added to the model after the execution of handler method. So here in case, this handler method is executed and this map map model this model the method is available in this the data is available in this request handler method okay if the method is parameter with a model attribute then it doesn't have actually so it doesn't search in the temporary object 
with the value model attribute if it finds then value from that map is used for the parameter over here so it doesn't have actually now so it doesn't search over there now we will see and one more thing I would like to say this the data the data available over here in this model attribute is ultimately available in the request app uh, scope okay so this data is available over in the request scope so my question over here is where is this spring model data stored so ultimately spring converts this data into a spring model and this spring model data is stored it if we want to retrieve those data where can we retrieve it so the answer is it's stored in the standard java request scope and the request scope if you can query the request scope, if you can print out all the request scope over here we can see that data is present in the request scope still present over here I can show you by printing it over here the data is still present but we cannot now we can see the data so if you run the application oops it's running by the way yes so now if you search for this request object it's present over here right so this is how spring mbc forwards this model data to the request scope it doesn't have those parameter but it still forwards this data all this data is forwarded to the request scope so I will now show you how a form data can be saved to a model attribute so I have my form over here it's a simple form the action is safe so this method over here ex uh, handles the request save and here you can see in the model attribute in the save parameter I have added model attribute user1 is my value and user detail is the model so I'm binding my form data into this data the user detail model so it's accessible in the request scope so I can print out this data in my success page so this is how I have created a, mod, uh, a view on success and on that view my data is present so I just need to access it I'll show you how to access the data okay so I just want to print out my mail and see over here this s or the other is present over here okay so this is how spring mbc works So guys, thank you for watching. Thanks. Are yeah, so the recording new all. Are ho gaya?